Well, what we've known for years is that veterans have ranged from 14 to 17 percent of our population experiencing homelessness, right? We know that Virginia is a veteran-friendly state and that we have more veterans experiencing homelessness than we have veterans just um, in housing in our state. And so, uh, like many communities in Virginia, we really um, picked up the challenge to end po uh, homelessness for our veteran neighbors and then really to use what we've learned here to solve homelessness for all of our neighbors. Um, but one of the big uh, initiatives that we did with veteran homelessness specifically was to create a by name list. So we just made a list of all of our um, veteran neighbors who were experiencing homelessness and then made a plan to house them. And uh, so that's the a very simple methodology that we've carried over uh, to work with all of our neighbors. When I started with Homeward, Virginia was sort of an afterthought, right? We don't think of ourselves as, you know, a progressive northeastern state or anything like that. But the fact that we were able to leverage relationships and really work together and that now, you know, we're a national leader in homeless services, it's actually it's pretty thrilling and it, it doesn't get boring. Like it's pretty exciting just to think that, you know, putting all stereotypes aside and just focusing on the issue at hand. Uh, it was really our veterans work group locally that pioneered, um, you know, some assessment methodologies and really changed how they did outreach. And then we have used that uh, to really change uh, our response for all of our neighbors experiencing homelessness. And we're seeing reductions across all populations and that's really the most exciting is that while we're really thrilled to be a part of ending veteran homelessness, we know that we can end homelessness for all of our neighbors. And so it's the proof point that we can do difficult things.